How many really want to make it happen this year? Now, next question, how bad? How bad? Come on, y'all got to tell me, how bad? And most times when I ask people how bad, they say, real bad. And you know what? You want it real bad. Everybody who said it really does want it real bad. The question, though, is how bad is real bad to you? How bad is real bad to you? Imagine if you would. One person wakes up around midnight, says, I want a soda. I want it bad. Real bad. Anybody had that kind of feeling sometimes? You want something by midnight? I want it real bad. They walk to the refrigerator. No sodas. They walk to the window, open the shades. Snowing. They go look in the refrigerator one more time. <laughs> Still no sodas. They settle for a glass of water. They settle for a glass of water, and they say, I really didn't want it that bad. Hey, we'll go back to bed. Second person wakes up around midnight, says, I want a soda. I want it bad. I want it real bad. They walk to the refrigerator, no sodas. Walk to the window, open the shades. It's snowing. They put on a hat and coat and gloves and galoshes. They walk a quarter mile to the corner store but it's closed. They walk back home and settle for a glass of orange juice. And they go back to bed because they really didn't want that soda that bad. Third person wakes up around midnight, says, I want a soda. I want it bad. They walk to the refrigerator, no sodas. Walk to the window, open the shades, it's snowing. They put on a hat and coat and gloves and galoshes, walk a quarter mile to the corner store. It's closed. Another half a mile to the grocery store. It's closed. Another mile to the gas station with the soda machine. It's sold out. <laughs> but that person keeps walking and trying and walking and trying and walking and trying until they get a soda. And if you go that far for a soda, how much further would you go for your dreams? Hmm. That's a question only you can answer. But in the quest for success, in the quest for excellence, that's an unavoidable question. Sooner or later, you're going to have to answer that question. How bad do you want it? Five simple steps for five-star success. First thing is you got to develop leadership skills. A leader of one. Before you can lead many, you must be able to lead one self. I love this little quote that says, he who knows not, and knows not that he knows not, but thinks that he knows is a fool. Leave him alone. Now, he who knows not and knows that he knows not is a child. Teach him. Now, he who knows and knows not that he knows is asleep. Wake him. Oh, but he who knows and knows that he knows and uses what he knows is a leader. Follow him. There's a leader on the inside of each and every one of us. But we must be willing to develop that leader within us. It must be a lifelong process. I, I, I talk all the time about the fact that you must develop self. You must grow self. One of the things that turned my life around was that I made a commitment to grow me. I started listening to tapes, reading the books, investing in myself. Because I found out early on, I listened to a tape that said, if you want to be the best, if you want to win, you've got to invest in yourself. You've got to grow yourself. I always tell myself, as well as my clients, if you want better children, you got to become a better parent. If you want better relationships, you got to become a better partner. If you want better results in your life, you got to become a better you. It's about being better. It's about constant and never-ending improvement. I, I, I was listening to a tape in my car, Coach John Wooden. And they said, Coach Wooden, you're, you're now 95 years old. You've won more college championships than any coach ever. What are you doing now, and what was the secret to your success? He said, I'm going to answer both questions with one answer. I'm doing the same thing today I've been doing for the last 65 years. Every day I work on me. I work on getting better. I develop some part of me. I'm encouraging you to make a commitment to lifelong learning. I'm encouraging you, if you want to win more in life, you've got to develop you more. You've got to get stronger on the inside. You've got to become a more effective leader, because a leader is somebody on the inside who's willing to do those things that are uncomfortable, who's willing to go where it's necessary. Develop yourself. Make a commitment to lifelong learning. 
Jim Rohn says it like this, if you ever go into a $10 million home, it always has a library. Now the person who buys that $10 million home, do they buy it because it has a library? Or does their library allow them to buy it? Hmm. Benjamin Franklin said, the greatest investment one can make in oneself is what you put in your head. The pennies you pour into your head will pour dollars into your wallet. What are you reading? What are you listening to? What are you investing in? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that you're, you're watching this video if you're watching. I'm, I'm glad you're making a commitment to excellence by investing in self, but you must make it a lifelong process because this motivation stuff works.